Okay guys, this has got to be the most shocking piece of news in the NFL all season. It's been reported from various media outlets that the Dallas Cowboys have now released linebacker Jalen Smith, who still had five years remaining and over $50 million left on his contract. Guys, before we begin, I'm doing a PS5 giveaway on my main channel and going to be offering the same thing here. Basically, to enter, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel with all notifications turned on. So it was reported from Adam Schefter that Dallas had released Jalen Smith, who was in his sixth year in the NFL. He was a former second round pick who signed a mega extension in 2019 and immediately played fantastic for the Cowboys after earning a Pro Bowl nod. However, 2020 wasn't as great, especially as a team, as they finished with a 6-10 record. Anyways, with this release, the Cowboys are now on the hook for a dead cap hit of Jalen's 7.2 million guaranteed salary this season and another 6.8 million for 2022. And the decision to move on from the linebacker was more about future cap savings as it gives him a chance to sign with another team and avoid the risk of his injury guarantee on his $9.2 million salary for 2022. It was reported that the Cowboys even tried shopping Smith in the form of a trade but were unsuccessful, so the only other option they had was to cut him. According to PFF in the offseason, they labeled the Jalen Smith contract as a worst contract on the Cowboys roster, partly because of how many available options Mike McCarthy had on the roster. The team had just drafted Micah Parsons in the first round and picked up Jabril Cox in the fourth round and also had Keanu Neal coming from Atlanta. And with Micah Parsons' early impressive performances in the 2021 season, it only made sense for Dallas to make this move. And lastly, there were just too many doubts about Jalen Smith and his ability to continue to stay healthy. This was a player who missed all of his rookie season due to a horrific knee injury in college and had only played 56% of all defensive snaps this season. So when you consider the huge injury guarantee that was coming up in 2022 for a player that had a career-threatening injury, Jerry Jones essentially made the mistake by offering this extension to begin with. That being said, I wouldn't be surprised if another team picked up on the linebacker, especially a team that has lack of depth in the position.